This is the Marvel Legends series, Marvel 80 Years, the classic Iron Man. And pretty awesome figure. This is part of their uh, Hasbro's tribute to 80 years of Marvel, Marvel Comics. And yep, very nice. Look at the artwork. Some Alex Ross artwork right there. Very nice. I picked up this figure at Hobby Corner. Let's get it out of packaging. And here is Iron Man out of packaging. And boy, is it an amazing figure. I know I keep saying that, but this year, 2019, Hasbro killing it with all their releases for Transformers, Star Wars, The Black Series, and Marvel Legends. Wow. Look how incredible this figure turned out. Uh, I have a few, you know, gripes and nitpicks. Very, very small. Uh, complaints about this figure but all in all just generally generally pleased with it absolutely loving it this is the classic iron man figure this is the classic iron man costume way back in the 60s 70s early part of the 80s i mean if you grew up watching the marvel cinematic universe you're probably gonna think this looks stupid i mean what the hell does it look like what the heck is this i mean compared to this this is like iron man of the future iron man back to the future past whatever um and even the the effects look so comic bookish and yeah but for those of you who grew up reading the comic books uh, in the 80s and even in the 90s you know this this figure has so much nostalgia about it. I'm just really, really loving it. I had no plans of picking this figure up because I wanted to focus, uh, just focus on the X-Men for the comic book figures. But uh, wow, this is something else. Okay. Uh, he doesn't come with a stand, obviously. This is the Revel Tech flight stand from the amazing Yamaguchi Gambit. Hasbro desperately needs to get in the game of these flight stands. I mean, how do you pose Iron Man or Archangel or Black Panther without a flight stand, right? Okay, so the figure comes with some extra accessories. He comes with two pairs of hands, the closed fist ones and the open hand um, repulsor blast hand and I guess Hasbro is keeping true to what they're trying to do with this open hand. They, they didn't add a joint to it. It's just a swivel joint once you connect, much like what they did with the other uh, uh, figures. You know, even in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they've kept the repulsor blast hand uh, stationary, the swivel articulating. That's it, because they probably thought, you know, collectors are just going to use this open hand for one particular pose, and it's going to be in this pose. Well, they're not wrong, but, you know, this is a collector figure. It's not really for kids. I mean, it can be for kids, but most of the time, adults buy this figure. And, you know, a little hinge wouldn't hurt. Um, there are times when we would like to pose Iron Man with the open hand by his side, but... Uh, Okay, uh, the closed fist hand will does have a hinge like that. We'll talk about articulation a little bit later. He comes with some blast effects. And if you notice, the blast effects are identical to the ones we've seen in the MCU, um, uh, the Marvel Studios figures. And as you can see, they just remolded it in an opaque type of plastic and then painted it white or yellow. I think it's yellow plastic that they painted white. This is the clear uh, plastic and even the, the blast effects. Uh, let me just line it up. Yep, it looks identical. Just this one in clear plastic and this one in opaque plastic. So, okay, that's fine. The new blast effect that they've added are these. You can obviously put these uh, as well on the hands uh, to make a, a more fantastic repulsor blast. But I like them on the on the boots, on the boosters. There's a way to do it. And you could do it this way. And it still look cool. <laughs> it's just like he's like wrangling a starfish or an octopus. Kind of looks free. There is a way to connect this here, but it, it's very tight. I don't know how to keep it on. It, it, it normally just pops off. That's the problem I have with these effects, and they tend to just they tend to just pop off. They're not they're not on very very tightly, and they they do tend to lop off if you you hit them. So you can put them this way, like 
Mandarin. Okay, enough of that. Okay, he does come with alternate heads as well, and he comes with the the alternate helmet with the nose and with teeth. And if you look at it, yep, he did wear his helmet with a with a nose, and for some reason it didn't stick. I actually like the flat nosed version better it's just back in the 60s stan lee had mentioned oh shouldn't he have a nose and the writers len wayne and len wine and um the illustrators i don't know who it was probably trimp herb trimp i think was the one who one of the illustrators that drew the the one with the nose and they actually felt oh, okay maybe we should give him a nose and they did it in issue 68 or something like that 68 or 69 i can't remember but he was fighting the mandarin and he's worried about oh my plexiglass is going to break through the pressures of the ocean i mean back in the day plexiglass was a big thing i mean there were no force fields or leds or whatever like that so you know the comic books were limited by the, te the technology when they were written so i'll be back mandarin because i need to fashion a new a new <laughs> arm with stronger plexiglass whatever so he does and he does it and when he fashions the new helmet it does now come with a nose it came with a nose and now his plexiglass can withstand the, the, <laughs> if plexiglass can withstand the tremendous pressure i mean obviously if you live in the 20th century 21st century nowadays you, you'd think doesn't he just use force fields or why doesn't he just use why does he have to have windows right i mean the, the iron the the iron man armor right nowadays is just plain solid and he's just got led displays but back in the day leds were not a thing yet so bear with us <laughs> some of us who are much older than you would probably still enjoy this so you can pop it off uh here but uh yes this is uh, you know if you like alex ross paintings he does draw iron man sometimes with the nose or without but it kind of looks weird he kind of this could be a nice custom for a hellfire club uh, grunt, you know, kind of looks like it could work, uh, but I do prefer this one actually. So, yep, definitely loving this one. So the details, let's talk about the details of the figure. They used this really nice pearlesque, glossy, marbled type of red material. I'm loving it. There's hardly any paint apps on it. I really like it. They made the reactor a separate piece. That's great. They didn't have to paint it. No quality issues there. Uh, the uh, arm, the lower arms and the lower legs seem to be just a typical glossy black, uh, glossy red plastic. A little bit of a flake and going on here as well as here, but uh, not as uh, really, really nice, nicely done as this one. Uh, see the difference is a lot more glossier. This was a deeper type of shine. That's fine. You get some plates right here that kind of move. They don't. They, they don't. They're not fixed. They're just attached at the end. If you remember the old Marvel Universe three point seventy five inch Iron Man, this is kind of that. I mean, it took them a while to actually figure out how to do it in the one twelfth scale, but they finally did it. And you get to see some more paint uh, issues right there. Uh, Probably in out of all these out of all the paint issues this figure has, it's 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 uh, some issues there. But it's really this yellow bit right here. Uh, sometimes it overlaps, sometimes it stays in the middle. And you just watch out for the gold paint. It might have a bit of blemishes right there. Some of the red gold paint actually turned out nicely. I'm, I'm actually very surprised that Hasbro had little quality issues uh, with the with the gold the gold paint. It doesn't bleed into the red because they made it separate pieces. Like the mask is a separate separate piece from the red base of the helmet. So they just attach it. You could see some of the super glue sticking out there. But uh, I, I thought that was an improvement. That way they can eliminate or reduce the bleeding of, of paint uh, with each other. So very, very nice. And I think, you know, if, once you, if you remove it, that black paint and the teeth, the gold teeth and black, are painted onto the red plastic underneath. So very nice, wonderful improvement from Hasbro. Articulation for the figure, he's got a ball jointed neck uh, that is on a hinge, a uh, little bit of a ratcheting ab crunch, 
very loose, a little bit loose waist swivel on my copy of the figure. It ratchets a little bit. Balkan shoulders, bicep swivel, double jointed elbows, ball hinge wrists, except for the repulsor, the repulsor uh, hands. It's got a ball jointed hip. And as you can see, these things give. I just wouldn't advise you do it too much. I think they'll, they might be prone to breaking. So soft plastic right there, hard plastic here. So just be careful with that. Thigh swivel, very tight. Double jointed knees, a little bit loose. Uh, the lower section of the knee, a little bit loose on my copy, but it's fine. No calf swivel. I would. I was surprised with that. I would. I was expecting much of a calf swivel right here because it's circle and you know there's room for a joint there, but they didn't do it. Ball hinge. Ankles with the rocker pivot okay a little bit of a scare you know i for those of you who are thinking the gone are the days of my bad luck with quality issues with hasbro it's not um this one had a particular quality issue but i fixed it um this lower part right here the joint right here is fine okay it, it was i was able to move it but once i was trying to get him to pose this i found out that this was this particular joint was frozen in this position i mean it's fine had I, had I not been able to fix it i would be happy with the hand being frozen like that but i wasn't going to be satisfied so i tried to move it i it was i was i could feel the tension of the plastic just getting some stress marks right there and what I did was right here underneath I figured that was that was where the paint had stuck onto the plastic and I used an edge of a pair of scissors that wasn't too pointed uh, it wasn't too pointy and a blunt end and I tried to poke it just you know just to loosen that whole joint and thankfully Wow, I was able to loosen that particular ratcheting joint and glad I, I, I did that because I didn't have to replace this figure or anything like that. So be wary of that particular joint. So all in all, I thought this was an, a fantastic figure. And before we go, there is one last piece of accessory I want to talk about. This is the Tony Stark head sculpt, which fits nicely right here. Wow. Look at that. Tony Stark as Iron Man. That's classic, classic, classic Iron Man Tony Stark. And if you're wondering if it can fit the MCU Tony Stark body, sure, why not? It just kind of looks too big for the body. So some final thoughts on the figure. Folks, this is as good as it gets. If you're in need of a classic Iron Man, forget about the initial releases from Toy Biz, from Hasbro, the two-pack version. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I'm gonna show you real quick uh, what I'm saying. Uh, initial releases, this is from the two-pack uh, with Maria Hill, and then Hasbro released from the Iron Monger Wave, this version. The mold is okay but it doesn't compare with what Hasbro has achieved with this figure. It's great. Figure deserves a 10 out of 10, but since I got a few quality issues here and there, nine and a half out of 10. Sorry, Hasbro. Gotta do better on the quality issue front, but it, on all intents and purposes, if you get a good figure, this should be a 10 out of 10. They did everything right. Um, some improvements here and there, but overall, I thought it was great. And just for, you know, to nitpick some more. The hand, the repulsor hand, if Hasbro thinks that this is the only pose this open hand is good for, well, look at that. If you put a hinge, if you'd put a hinge, he would have been able to hold that helmet properly instead of like that. So Hasbro, some stuff to think about. It's a collector figure. A little hinge wouldn't hurt, okay? It's not that costly. I think you could do it. So just to change your stereotype about collectors using only the open hand for repulsor blasts. I like it. Uh, it looks great. Um, best of luck to everybody hunting him down. I don't know if it's an exclusive. I hear in the U.S. they've seen it in Target's, Target stores. Um, here in Manila, only hobby shops have it as of the moment. I don't know if we'll get it on retail. So your best bet is to go check out Hobby Corner or R-Toys for this uh, figure in Green Hills. 
And uh, with that, I hope you've enjoyed this little, this little video review. Uh, if you did, please let me know in the comment section below. Click that notification bell so you're, so you're always updated when I have new videos. This has been the Marvel Legends series, Marvel's 80 Years, the classic Iron Man. Thanks for watching.